Hi y'all, it's Pam again with Mason Lance Design and back for another Zoom Notes video. Today we're going to talk about the lasso tool. Okay, and as you can see it's um, colored in up here at the top beside the text tool beside this A. And so right now I have it selected on um, just the square, which means I'll have to, you know, touch it and enclose the whole thing in order to um, select it. See, if I just try to select a part of it, it's not going to. So this is the square box selection tool. If you wanted to um, use the box. Um, in the options section, I'm sorry, if you saw me, I clicked on the box. And here you have different operations listed of different things that you can do. Um with the selection tool. Okay, so far I've not had to use any of those and I'm in Zoom notes quite a while every day. Um, and of course you have different options right here. The two I wanna really point out to you is this down here at the bottom, it says enclose, which means you have to completely enclose whatever shape you're wanting to grab in order for it to grab it. Or when you click on overlap, you can just lasso a small section like we're used to over in Good Notes and it'll pick up the whole image. Okay, let's look at that real quick. So if I just wanna lasso this, you see how it picked it up? If I lasso, whoops, sorry. If I lasso that and it picked it right up. Okay, and if I move it around, okay, I, I, I just move it. You see there's no lines or anything. But if I come back in here and click on Selection Guidelines, okay, then it's gonna help me line things up. And it will also help you if you're trying to adjust your um, image size to fit with the other ones, you see how that is. It matches up at the bottom. You see where that line was there at the bottom? And then you can make it smaller. And so it's really easy to resize your images um, all the same size. However, sometimes I've noticed when I'm moving um, things around, um, sometimes that gets in the way having this... Uh, selection guidelines on so I'm quite regularly turning it on and off it's really helpful you know to to align things up you know where you want them but like I said when it gets in the way I just turn it off and do what I need to do so this isn't something I keep on but I love the fact that I have it and it very easily lines things up for you so you're not sitting there trying to figure out if that's even or not because I don't I don't, you know, do that very well when I just glance at it. So I really love this feature. Um, so that's all for the lasso tool. I've covered, yes. And then, like I said, you've got all these features right here under the op operation that um, you can do. I mean, you know, the clear the page, it says um, paste, paste in place, paste an image, copy, cut, duplicate, move to current layer move to back. I'm sure these could be very, very useful. I've just not used them yet. Move to front, group, ungroup, flip horizontally, flip vertically, use style of selected, apply style to selected, create a new symbol. And we'll go over the symbols in a video here um, soon because that's one of my other favorite features is the uh, symbol tool, which is like a little um, internal sticker book, if you will. For things that you use all the time but I won't go on any more of that I'll talk about it in another video and then you have the reset the pen ink pressure the highlight to back and then you've got you know different image I mean there's like I said a lot if you use all of these features you know I don't use every single feature on every single tool you know I use you know I click on the things that I use and like I said in the first video with Rebecca Bennett some of the things that she showed that you can do with the settings um, really helps you customize it to uh, customize Zoom Notes to fit it how you want it to be. So we'll be back again with another um, Zoom Notes video another time. Thank you for watching. Bye.